Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Projection. We all do it and how to beat it. Yeah. Because it, one important thing is accurate thinking. Mm. You have to be able to think accurately. And that's kind of like something that the red pill does is like it strips away that blue pill or Disney, you know, persona. Yeah. Um, or romance novels. And you're kind of laid bare. Projection, best example I can give is with men, it's sending dick pics. <laughs> yes. Because it's oh. never worked in the history of man. It's offensive. No one likes it. It's embarrassing. Girls make fun of guys. They keep, you know. Yeah. It's never gotten anybody laid, which is the goal. Yeah. But guys like to receive nudes. Yes. So in his mind. I like receiving nudes. Surely she yeah. res- would like to see my dick. <laughs> I would love to see her. I like to see your dick. Yes, that's different. <laughs> that's completely different. In person. <laughs> yeah. You you want to, there's all kind of, that's a completely different podcast. Because what we want to talk about today is where projection can fuck up your thinking. Absolutely. And it's going to get in your way. It gets in, guy. I think it gets in men's way more so than it does women. Because actually... Women will say lots of things. We'll say, we want, you know, to get this and this degree. We want to earn this m- amount of money. We, But really, really, what most women who are saying all of these things really want is they want a guy who is earning that kind of money, is is earning that kind of lifestyle that she can fit into. But... In doing so, our imaginations about what you bring to the table actually work in your favor. So projection, I think, can what hinder men and enable women. Well, guys are very much like, well, he told me he had a Corvette, so he must have a Corvette. And the guy probably has a Corvette. But they hear a woman say, I want a guy that has a mansion. I want a guy that has a Ferrari. She has a meaning. I mean, no, well, she, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Yeah. She says, I want to be wealthy. I want to be successful. Yeah. I want to have nice. She doesn't mean her. She means she wants a man who is financially successful. Who's providing these yeah. things. Yeah. And this could, you know, this is runs the whole gamut of what she wants. You know, strong, independent. A, a, a guy that I like to travel. She wants a guy that has the means to travel. Right. It, it's really almost an entire, anytime a girl starts describing what she wants, it's what she looks for in a man. It's true. She's going to tell you. It's like, you know, and I think guys get confused. They're like, she's telling you what she wants. And they're like, well, she's just describing herself. Well, and I, I do want to clarify. We actually think that that's what we want. See? Yeah. I mean, we, we're we not, it's... <sighs> It's weird because we're not lying when we say it. Right, right. We genuinely, we just know that we want to reach that point. Well, that's why it's projection, right? Right, but I'm just saying we're not doing it maliciously. Right, right. We're not saying, I want a law degree and I want to make $500,000 a year because we are looking for an attorney husband who makes $500,000 a year. We're saying that because... We want the lifestyle. We want to eventually end up in the lifestyle that that affords. And we think at the time that we're saying it that that's the only way we can get there is if we can do it. Right. But we're much happier if we actually, at the next event that we attend, we run into, um, you know, a, a trust fund baby from a wealthy oil family who can provide that lifestyle that we had already envisioned for ourselves. And then all of those attorney, those law degree, and our own personal goals go out the window because we've achieved that that lifestyle. And we're using money as an example because it's an easy example. Yes. If you ever drive through the suburbs, most girls are pretty happy with not much, with a very medium lifestyle. You know, if you're in middle America, Girls are happy to have a roof over their head, kids that are clean and well-fed, in a decent school district, no gang activity, and a husband that comes home. 
Well, and truly, like, this woman in the suburbs is happy if you don't bitch at her every time she buys a new pillow or every time she puts up a new corny sign that says, like, kiss the cook or something weird. Like, if, if she changes, you know, the bed spread once, you know, once a year or has enough money in her kind of fun money to buy things that you think are silly for the home. These are the things that make suburban women happy. Yeah, we, we're only using extreme examples because we want you to get the concept. It's the, it's the equivalent of men and boats and four-wheelers and motor, or dirt bikes and motorcycles and that kind of thing. Yeah. So projection can blind you, and it can actually kind of like, you're making the wrong decisions based off of bad information. Yeah. So you have to kind of filter it sometimes. You know, go, well, what is this? It doesn't make sense to me. You know, you know, you have to ask yourself, is is she projecting? Or and are you projecting? You're like about to send a dick pic. Yeah. You know. Because like you said, both men and women do this a lot. Right. Like this is not a small problem. Right. So you have to be aware of it. And, it, and it, these are the best examples we can give, but it goes into a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you can think of that it would involve no i can't think of anything else i've already said quite a bit guys we we cover this in basic training one and two yeah and the basic training one and two is like it says dating and etiquette but it also deals with some like very basic philosophies and mindset stuff because these are basics you know you have to know this or you'll get caught out exactly you know this is a very basic training type of type of uh, skill but you do it's one of those things just like any skill you get the very basics of it and then you start recognizing you seeing it and ignoring it and you actually become a guy that just gets it i love it yeah you know, it takes time so it's a skill but it's everywhere and it's so um pushed by the media and you see it all the time you don't always recognize it but once you start recognizing it you'll see it everywhere absolutely absolutely basic training one and two pick those up the they are uh the links for those are in the description box down below if you like this podcast please like subscribe share with your friends we want you to win